Hi guys, so here on Rory here, co-founder of Sublime Trading, here with the daily update for the UK and US indices for Thursday the 18th of June. Alright guys, hope you're well. So let's get straight into it. Uh, starting with the US market, what we can see is that price has really gone into a bit of a lull. It's been trading inside a range the last couple of days, which is inside a larger range, which is the high and the low of June. Now, as long as price holds at these key support levels that we've been discussing over the last week, then the overall bias remains bullish. What we cannot expect is price to just shoot off in a direction. Price goes through these periods where it creates highs, then it goes into a little consolidation, little breather, pullback, flag formations ultimately, which uh, some of you may be familiar with. So this is currently what we're seeing at the moment. Price is going in a bit of a lull in an overall bullish bias. What we now need to see is a confirmation of a continuation of the bullish trend and that will happen once we get a breakout so ideally what we want to see is that breakout above the high of June same with the UK market waiting for a breakout above the high of June and then a continuation towards the 200 simple moving average so our stance hasn't changed now a question I always get asked is why don't we trade the indices well the answer is that the indices are an average what we want is to be looking for stocks that are performing better than the average so even though the indices may be going through a bit of a lull there'll be stocks that are breaking out and creating highs. And so the scanning process that we here have at Sublime Trading is to always look for stocks that are performing better than the average. Hence why we are placing positions in our portfolio. Even though the indices have gone into a bit of a lull, there are stocks that are still breaking out and creating new highs. And those stocks are being added into the portfolio. So overall, even though the indices have gone into a bit of a range, there are stocks that are doing better than that, performing better than the indices and are offering opportunities. And that's where we are positioned right now. So still bullish, still waiting for breakouts on the indices. Let's get into the charts and catch up with price action. So guys, if you're new to these daily updates, then I recommend starting with the recording that's pinned to the top of our Facebook page to get a good understanding of what I go through in these charts. So guys, as always, this is our three screen setup, monthly in the top left, weekly in the top right, and our daily chart down here across the bottom. Starting with the S&P 500, month of June, still waiting for the high of last year to be cleared on the weekly time frame. Current week is trading above the 50 and the 200 simple moving averages. We want to see price break and close above this high, which is the high of last week. Come down to the daily time frame, we can see that price is trading above the 20, the 50, the 200 simple moving averages, which is the black line, the 50, which is the orange line and the 3000 round number. And also we can see that price trading inside this range I mentioned, which is the high of June and the low of June. What we want to see is a breakout above this high to suggest a continuation. If we move to the NASDAQ, starting with the monthly, we can see that the NASDAQ is printing all time highs on the weekly time frame, a bullish week. But we want to see price breaking close above the high of last week to suggest a continuation. And if you come down to the daily time frame again, we can see this range that price is trading in. We want to see price breaking close above the high of this month to suggest a continuation. Coming next is the Dow Jones starting with the monthly. So you can see on the Dow Jones, a up and down month, just like on the other indices, it was a bullish looking month. The bears are coming, push price back down. The bulls are coming in and starting to push price back up again. Ultimately, we're waiting for the high of last year to be cleared. On the weekly, price above the 200 moving average, but you can see it's finding resistance at the 50 simple moving average. And on the daily time frame, we can see this range that price is trading inside between the high and the low of this month. So just like on the S&P 500 and on the NASDAQ, we want to see price break and close above this high to suggest a continuation. Looking at the S&P 500 mini, we can see that uh, it's been a quiet day. So the fact that we're seeing a quiet day on the uh, since the open is not really surprising. However, as always mentioned, it's the end of day candlestick that gives us the most information. So this candlestick could look very, very different by the end of the month. Moving to the FTSE 100, we can see the resistance that's still holding strong on the monthly time frame. On the weekly, price is still below the 200 and the 50 simple moving averages. Although it is a bullish week so far, we want to see this high of last week cleared to suggest strength to the upside. And if we come down to the daily time frame, you can see this consolidation that price is trading in with the 6,000 round number holding as support and the high of June holding as resistance. So we want to see this area cleared and then strength to the 200 moving average. We want to see that cleared and then further strength towards those all time highs. So across the board, we're waiting for breakouts. And as our overall bias is bullish based on the S&P 500, we want to see a breakout to the upside.
Our stance won't change. We're still opening up positions on the best performing stocks and we'll continue to do that as long as the indices remain bullish. Okay, guys, that's me for today. Please like, comment and share. Let's get people understanding how to use these indices correctly to build a solid investment portfolio. And I will be back tomorrow for the last update of the week.